Hey folks, this is Johnny. Welcome to another Fader Port 16 video. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at the transport and the zoom. So this should be quite fast as far as getting through it. Um, also, if you guys could, I would really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe to this uh, channel. Hit like the video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification button so that you know when these videos are going to come up. All right, so um, hope you guys don't mind the fisheye lens. Uh, kind of thing on the fader port. I'm using my iPhone so that I can get a nice zoom in so that we can see the little screens, which actually works really nice, but I don't know how to get rid of the fish eye. So hopefully you guys don't mind that too much. Uh, so we're going to take a look at the transport and the zoom functions. All right. So if you look here, here's our transport right here. And then our zoom functions are going to be the knob and the two buttons right next to on either side of the big knob. All right, so for the shuttle, the cool thing about how the shuttle works here is that we actually have a pause button. So if I hit, let me turn this down a little bit because you guys have heard the song a million times. There we go. So now, for this, if I just hit the play button again, it pauses. And if I hit it one more time, it picks up from where it paused. If I hit stop, and you are using the return to start on stop function, it actually goes back to the first place that you stopped or the first place that you paused. So that function can be actually found here under options and return to start on stop. A lot of people turn that off because they don't like it shooting back to the beginning. For the way that I do my editing and stuff, I kind of like it, but having the pause button and it helps that. All right, so uh, of course we got the stop button. You guys all know what that is. We have the record button. You guys know what that is. This can actually, you can use it for punching. If you are recording somebody else, you can actually just tap it and tap it again to punch in and out. You can also plug in a foot pedal into the back that is linked to the record button. And that foot pedal can also be reassigned to either the stop button or the play button or other functions within the fader port. So it's kind of nice to have that option and i'll be doing a separate video on the on the foot pedal functions oh i ran out of breath okay so uh let's move on to here this actually turns the loop on and off you can see the loop actually flashing blue and then uh, to dark again up there in the uh, edit view or the um event view uh then we have these two options here if, if you hit them both at the same time, it's returned to zero. You can also double tap the stop button to return to zero. But the cool thing about this is these are like shuttle controls. Now, the uh, Studio One does not have a scrub option. So the knob here does not do scrubbing. But this is... I wouldn't say it's close, but it gives you another option to shoot to different locations in your song. So if I'm actually playing it, and I hit the fast forward, and it just continues to play, and it doesn't stop the play when you hit them. So this gives you a nice little way to review what you got going on in your song. Nice. If you're an actually, if you're actually not playing the song, you can actually just use them like that. Gives you a pretty good idea on where you're at. Okay, so that's the shuttle area here. Now. If you want to zoom in and out, you have a couple of options. If you hit the zoom button that you can see right here, it turns blue. And the, uh, the actual knob is your horizontal view. And the side buttons is your vertical? Uh, <laughs> it's your vertical zoom. I'm not sure what a vertical a is, but that's all right. This will also work in the edit view. There we go. Of course, you only have, I just, just discovered that there, uh, you, you, these don't do anything uh, for the edit view, but this is your horizontal view here. Your horizontal zoom, just like that. So you have a lot of options. So it depends on which area is active. So there we go. Oh, actually, I have them linked. So if, if I unlink them, I can unlink the edit view from the arrange view. And now if I click in the upper area, my zoom actually goes there. And if I click in the edit view, my zoom shoots down there. Just like that. 
Very cool. All right. I hope you guys found this helpful. I'm going to be going through some other features and functions of the fader port for Studio One Six. There hasn't really been any overall huge improvements from like say version four and five for the fader port as far as studio one six goes there's a couple of little things i've actually got to look them up but i don't think that they're major like major functions for the fader port uh the other cool one that i want to go through is the link button for those of you that know what the link button is uh that's this button right here for those of you that know what that is and what it does it is quite cool to be able to use that along with the mouse to actually make adjustments to things and i think that'll be the next video so stay tuned for that that. All right, I think that's going to do it for me as I look for my show outro. If you have any suggestions, maybe a video that you would like to see before I move on to some of the things that I have planned, please leave a comment in the comments area. Let me know what you thought of this video. And also, if I left something out of these two areas that you guys might know a shortcut to, please let me know and I'll do another video on it. All right, I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.